Libras! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 23rd today to the 31st. So for my newbies, hello, welcome. I always like to do a meditative session before I get started, um, <clears throat> excuse me, before I hit record and then I go over it. Um, and then after that, we usually do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we go ahead into the reading. Now when I meditate, sometimes I play with the cards. And Libra, the first thing I saw was a big circle and I, I was getting this energy of something's completing something's wrapping up uh something's coming literally full circle here and i feel like there's a very firm push of energy like a firm stop to something here okay um and it was interesting because as i was feeling the energy these these cards were being very firm with me <laughs> very stubborn they were barely even letting me shuffle and i was like oh shit something is really really serious here libra is what i'm getting and i feel like it's you i feel like you're being really serious with somebody and you're just kind of like enough with the games Ooh, 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 enough with the games. Like, it, it's very serious. You're being very serious. You're being very direct. And I feel like because you're being so direct with someone, um, they're, for some, it's lies. I gotta be honest. For some, it's lies, half-truths, omissions. I mean, let's be real. Omissions are lies, right? Um, basically, someone who hasn't been fully honest with you, Libra, or honest with everyone involved. Some of you, this is definitely work-related. Um, honest with everybody involved it's coming to light because you're being so direct and you're being so probing and you're just like enough is enough you want to see the cards that came out here Libra look at this the world with the chariot in reverse and the star this is a full ass abrupt stop talk about coming full circle right it's like enough done so someone's time is up Ooh, Libra <laughs> someone's time is up someone's game is up enough enough and then we have the star i do feel like that's actually divine stepping in here i feel like that's divine stepping in here kind of helping you with this being like you know what whatever this person's been up to enough because we also have the page of cups in reverse and the nine of swords someone's been found out libra that's what i'm getting with that someone's been found out let's continue on and see what, what i get um intuitively and then we'll go ahead and do the pre-shuffle here okay because like i said guys i normally don't have cards out here that are ready to you know start the video for those who are new to my channel but when those came out like that i was like oh shit <laughs> oh shit um so let's just see intuitively what else wants to come out here, Libra. I am getting a lot of water energy here. You could know the water sign. I feel like this is in the realm of emotion. I think you feel like someone has been uh, toying with your emotions or you've been seeing someone toy with someone else's emotions. It's almost like someone really hasn't been taking something very seriously. And it's almost, it's very parent-like. This could be between you and a child. We do have the page out here. Definitely could be between you and a child or someone who's very childish. And it's like, Someone hasn't realized the consequences of their actions is also what I'm getting. It's like someone doesn't really live in reality. Someone doesn't live based in reality. You do. You're Libra. <laughs> um, and enough. It's just enough. Yeah, some of this is definitely between like you and your child. I just feel like a babying almost. Like Libra, if this is between like a love interest or even like a friend, it's almost like you've been babying the situation. I have to be honest, maybe even enabling a little bit. Um, trying to be understanding, trying to be compassionate and you're done. You're just done. I don't know if, if it's just like building of tension and like you're just like enough or if there's been some kind of last straw kind of a consequence that's taken place here libra either way i almost feel like you're you're scaring this person shitless <laughs> it's kind of what this feels like oh as i said parent and child empress in reverse libra energy taurus energy divine feminine energy definitely an upset feminine energy that's also the mother card here okay queen of cups is on the bottom uh yeah libra i feel like you're, you're actually the authority you're taking is really taking someone off guard and i think they're feeling really embarrassed really embarrassed because all of your probing questions are like putting them on the stand <laughs> putting them on the stand jesus i mean libra you are justice right you are the justice card uh again it's just calling them out it's calling them out and they're really embarrassed and it feels for some it feels public like i said if this is workplace that have like that would have like a public feel to it others are just between you and another person here okay I just got Blue Jay, Blue Jay, Blue Jay. Uh, some of you might have been seeing Blue Jays recently. I don't actually, I don't know what the meaning is of a Blue Jay, spiritually speaking. I mean, I, I love Blue Jays. They're so beautiful. I mean, birds in general, I find to be uh, acting as guides more often than not. But if anyone knows the, the spiritual meaning of Blue Jay, please, by all means, put that down below. Um, I just feel like it's very much like a revealing of truth that you're doing here, Libra, and... It might be embarrassing the person you're doing it to, but it kind of seems like, 
don't like saying it like that. Because everyone comes to their own karma in their own way, but it's just like, how long can you keep up a charade? How long can you keep up the facade? How long can you keep up the omissions and lies or not take something seriously or just keep playing with people's emotions? Some of you, it's just, it's some of you, this person's playing with someone's emotions, whether it's yours or someone else's. Oh, hangman in reverse, Piscean energy. You've thought about this a little bit. You've thought about this for a while and you haven't taken action on it and you are now. Again, the star has come out. It's also healing a situation for those where this is family or even workplace. It's healing a dynamic. It's basically forcing someone to grow up. Ooh. <laughs> Libra. It's forcing someone to grow up. That's what this is. You ain't a child no more. Ten of swords. Yeah, you're putting an end to this. You're putting an end to this bullshit. Okay, Libra, let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here. Please send us messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 23rd to the 31st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 23rd to the 31st. forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for libra sun moon rising venus and jupiter october 23rd to the 31st i'm hearing the word spanking maybe you guys are spanking your child i don't know someone's getting a spanking whether it's just energetic spanking of being surely embarrassed or you know someone's really getting disciplined here i really feel like it's basically libra you're, you're basically telling someone to grow up you're basically telling someone to grow up, um, stop the games, stop the childish behavior, be direct, be mature, and it's embarrassing them. And Libra, I think for some of you, this person you're calling out, um, like I said, they weren't really aware of the consequences of their action or the impact. I guess that's really what it is. They weren't aware of the impact um, of their actions, maybe on you or whoever it is or the wider dy dynamic that they're doing this to. And so as you are disciplining them or putting them in their place or giving them a talking to they're feeling a lot of shame i'm just i'm just being honest with what i'm getting here they're feeling a lot of shame and i think especially regarding you because i think libra and again this could all be vice versa but whoever's doing the calling out the person who's getting shamed by the person being doing the calling out they really respect and have a lot of respect and admiration for the person who's doing the calling out yeah, I'm getting a lot of shame with this. Really feels like parent-child, but like I said, definitely could be between two adults here. Please and forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 20th. I'm trying to say 23rd, and they keep wanting me to say the 21st. Something might have happened on the 21st. 23rd <laughs> to the 31st. Oh, oh. Didn't see that right underneath. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy with the Six of Cups, Scorpionic energy. It also be past life soulmate, karmic family energy here. Someone's holding on to the past. Without a doubt, someone's holding on to the past or their childhood or childlike ways. Okay, like I was saying, I definitely feel like someone's acting out in a childlike manner, regardless of their age. Oh, come back. There we go. It's like emotional immaturity here. But someone's holding on to the past. Someone doesn't want to let go of their of their ways that they've had since they were a child or just the fact or just someone from the past, one or the other. But it's definitely past. Pa oh, ow. Ow. <laughs> Excellent. Grab my hair. The past. I can't let go of the past. Pleasing forth. Death in reverse. Scorpionic energy resistance. Yeah, I really feel like this is someone who doesn't want to grow up. This is someone who doesn't want to grow up. Someone who doesn't want to go from, you know, that free, fun, loose, uh, almost borderline reckless, careless, maybe kind of fun, childlike way of being or like, you know, young, young adult way of being to an adult. Like someone doesn't want to make that transition. They're resisting that. They're resisting that. A lot of Scorpio energy here. We are coming into Scorpio season. Happy birthday. Any Libra Scorp cuspers out there? Just say it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Like I said, some of this could be a family issue. Libra, there you are. Oh my God, I knew it. <laughs> Queen of Swords, Libra energy could also be air or water with eight of wands. This is you talking. 
This is you, like unstoppable is actually what I'm getting. You are being an unstoppable force here in telling this person, let go of the past, grow up, whatever it is. You're like, you're really, <laughs> I'm sorry, Libra. I, like, I don't mean to laugh, but it's just like, of course, of course, this because Eight of Wands is unstoppable. And then Queen of Wands is a queen of communication and truth. You're given the whole truth and you're not holding back. Ten of Cups on the bottom. I definitely feel for a lot of you this is family related or someone that you want to have a long standing relationship with. Hell, this could be someone that you're dating and they can't let go of their ex or they just can't mature or they just can't grow up. Placing forth any messages of truth, healing and love for those who need it for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 23rd to the 31st. I think the cards are pretty calibrated. Let's go ahead and get into the reading here. For those who are new to tarot or new to my channel, please know these messages are very, very general. Sorry, my hair is still dry. <laughs> very, very general, and messages are for those who need to hear them, as you heard me set the intention. So if it's not your message, that's okay, all right? There are plenty of other readers here on YouTube, and clearly someone else had to hear that message, okay? Um, also, guys, we are working with energy, so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. So hold on to what resonates only, okay? And if you if it's resonating but the roles are reversed, just switch them. We are working with energy, so just know that uh, we all have masculine and feminine energy, so don't get caught up on the gender. We're not reading gender. We're reading energies. This is from the 23rd to the 31st, but time is not linear. So whenever you're guided to watch your reading is when you're guided to watch it. We all work through energy at different rates in different ways. Okay, Libra. Let's get started. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra? Libra, you're being really bold with this person. You're being really bold with this person. They're showing me the badger. They're actually showing me a honey badger specifically, which those are really scary. I just have to be honest. Those are really scary when they go off. They're really badass. But Libra, you're really being relentless with this person. It's like, I think you might be worried that they don't hear you because they because they act childish. That's why. Because, yeah, that's why. That's why you feel like they probably don't hear you, which is why you're being so firm with them. But it is shaming them. It is shaming them. Now, careful with that. Because, I mean, Libra, I know you don't want to make this person feel bad. Sometimes when Libras get triggered, we all know this, we love you, Libra. Uh, sometimes when Libras get triggered, they really, like, get a little cray-cray. I'm not saying that in a bad way. You guys are just really intense when you're upset and angry. You know, Scorpios get a bad rap for that, too. But Libras, you're up there. Scorpios will give you a silent little comment, very hurtful comment. But Libras will, like, lay it on thick. And I, remember, I think that's what you're doing with this person. It's teaching them a lesson. You're getting through to them. Um, and maybe that's why you have to be so firm because maybe you feel like you've tried. You might have tried this before, Libra, in a gentle manner. And it it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. They didn't take you seriously. Any messages for Libra regarding love? October 23rd to the 31st. Any messages for Libra regarding love, October 23rd to the 31st? Any, oh, uh, I'm not surprised my solar is reacting to this because um, this is requiring a lot of confidence from you, Libra, which you're not having trouble with. Just be aware of your solar. Your solar might be overactive right now. And when our solars are overactive, we tend to be overly confident, maybe even borderline egotistical here. So just be mindful if your solar is being overactive and you're kind of in that realm, okay? Temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy. I feel like, you're, yeah, you're you're done. You're done. Your patience is gone. Your patience is gone for the situation and for this person. And you're just, you're tired of it. You're tired of it. You're not going to take it anymore. Whatever their childlike behavior is or just immaturity or just not taking you seriously. Either way, you're done. Your patience is worn out. It's gone. Any messages for Libra? Any messages? <laughs> Five of Wands. Oh my God. Libra, Leo energy. Yeah, you're done. You're so fucking done. Libra, this is you. I'm not saying you're starting a fight because I, your patience is worn out, but you're definitely going to be part of a fight here. You're going to be part of an argument. And I feel like you are going to get the last word. I'm not saying that that's a goal here. That is not a goal. I'm just feeling you are going to get the last word because this person is going to feel so small or so berated that they're going to be like this. So Libra, just be mindful that you can talk to this person without it getting to that level. It's not good to go there. 
it's not going to go there. Now, if they said something crazy to you, like, you know, racist or whatever, that's a different story. I don't think that's what this is. I really think this is someone you've been dealing with who can't take you seriously or who acts immaturely or who is very childish. And you might, and for those, you know, you might have tried before. You really might have, and maybe it just wasn't enough. And now your patience is gone. And when a labor's patience is gone, shit hits the fan. And that's what's happening here. Just don't parade this person to the point where they're so embarrassed and feel so small and so ashamed that they like, you know, that's not a good place to be, no matter what someone's done to you, you know? So just be mindful not to go that extreme. But Libra, I hate to break it to you. You're about to have a fight. You're about to have a fight. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra regarding love? October 23rd to the 31st. A lot of fire here already. A lot of fire. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra regarding love? October 23rd to the 31st. Keep in guys. Keep keeping guys. Get back off. Keep in mind, guys, Mars is in your sign. It is in Libra, okay? Um, Mars kind of does funky stuff when it's in Libra. It's like, it does really good things, but if it goes into a shadowy energy, because mostly when it's um, in a positive way, Mars in Libra it really leans more towards um, balanced conversations, actually. Balanced conversations and there's better listening, but when it gets into the shadowy side, think like shadowy libra for a minute like shadowy action libra this is what you get okay this is what you get very imbalanced conversations um very one-sided very one-sided conversations any other messages for libra any other messages for libra regarding love october 23rd to the 31st i King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Uh, I feel like you're you're berating this person into silence. I do, Libra, I think the other issue with this person is not, not only do you feel like they don't take you seriously or that they might not even act maturely or that child, or very more like childlike, ch Jesus, childlike. Um, you're accusing them of holding information from you or flat out lying to you. Some of you are accusing this person of manipulating you or even being a narcissist. It's a spectrum. Pick where you are on the spectrum. But that's how you're seeing this person. And I think that's why you've had enough. You feel like this person's been playing games with you and you're tired of it. You're really tired of it. And it's almost like... <laughs> You're going to you're going to come clean, you're going to mature up, you're going to be an adult about shit and handle things directly. Something about directness, something about directness. I think you think this person likes to be behind the bush a lot or not be very direct with you. Either way, it's causing a fight and you're you're berating them into a silent mode here, okay? Any other messages for Libra? Any other messages for Libra regarding love? October 23rd to the 31st. Oh, Libra, Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. So it seems like whatever this argument is, it seems like you two might come together and talk it out after a while, but you are going to breathe this person into silence. I have to be very clear about that. You are. You totally are. Any other... This could also take place in the work... Work... I'm still say place in the workplace. This could also be um, around work. We do have Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles does indicate work environment. Doesn't have to be, though. Overall energy, we have a king of wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air with the page of wands here. Wow, with the nine of cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Holy shit. With the wheel of fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. Uh, Libra, this is really interesting because Libra, you're coming across as the queen of swords and now you're coming across as a king of wands. And this other person has a king of swords energy. So that tells me that their masculine side matches your feminine side. This person's very complimentary to you. I wouldn't be surprised if this person's feminine side is a queen of wands energy. But anyway, Libra, this is you basically taking action and communicating with this person saying, look, I, I'm not cool with this. I'm not happy with the way things are going. I don't like that there's not a whole lot of movement here or there's not a whole lot of, I feel like, yeah, there's not a whole lot of directness. There's not a whole lot of movement. This is not what I want. I'm very unhappy with your behavior <laughs> is what you're telling this person libra causes a fight this person gets berated into silence and it could be taking place in the work in the workplace but three of pentacles also indicates that um there will be some kind of 
coming together and reconciliation, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the fight. Because this is you losing your shit. Temperance on a verse, I'm getting total impatience. Like patience is down to like zero percent. Zero percent. Phone is phone of patience has died. Five of Wands argument. Let's go into it. Libra. My goodness. Uh honest truth. No, I'm not really actually I'm feeling crystal visions. I'm feeling crystal visions. Time of the five of wands. Wands for Libra. Some of the Five of Wands for Libra regarding love, October 23rd to the 31st. Some of the Five of Wands for Libra regarding love, October 23rd to the 31st. And like I said, for some, this could definitely be a parent-child dynamic, okay? For sure. For sure. Some of the Five of Wands for Libra regarding love, October 23rd to the 31st. Some of the Five of Wands energy. Ooh! <laughs> Ten of Wands, and I was like, ah! Ten of Wands in reverse, Sag energy, the five to the ten. Libra, this is going to, I'm actually really happy because I think this is going to be an argument that escalates really quickly, which means it's going to end really quickly. Oh, come back. It doesn't always mean that, but like with the cards laid out this way, because Ten of Wands in reverse, burdens are being dropped. So as quickly as it starts, that's as quickly as it's going to burn out. They're going to hear you. They might be silent for a day or two, but they're going to hear you. Okay. Time with the Five of Wands. Time with the Five of Wands for Libra. Wow. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Yeah, like I said, Libra, it's like you're going to berate this person into shame. I'm, ugh, lack of confidence, shame, 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 shame. Um, let's see what else we got here. So I remember the Five of Wands. King of Swords. Yep, you're going to silence them. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Seriously, Libra, just be mindful. I mean, like I said, the way it, it's laid out right now with the way you plan on braiding them, and maybe you don't even plan on it. Maybe it's just you have that moment where you're like, enough, <laughs> enough with you, and you just kind of bleh in your Libra-like way. Um, either way, you are going to shame this person, this King of Swords, whoever this King of Swords is, and they will become silent, but I don't feel like it's going to be that long because we end with the Three of Pentacles. It could just indicate workplace, but we're going to look at that a little bit more later. But yeah, Libra, as quickly as it starts, that's as quickly as it's going to end, and I do think this person will get over it, okay? And I think that that will also force them to hear you. Time about Five of Wands for Libra. Time about the Five of Wands for Libra. Time about the Five of Wands for Libra. And you know, I gotta say, I like that your masculine side is Leo and that their masculine side is Aquarius because those are the one sevens of each other. Like I said, like you guys are very complimentary and then your feminine side is the queen of swords here, Libra. I like that. It's really nice. Usually you find that in divine counterparts as well. Um, just had to point that out for those who need to hear that. Talk about Five of Wands. Talk about Five of Wands for Libra. Ho! Oh! Four of Wands, Aries energy here. Okay. Libra. I got to be honest with what I'm getting. You could be committed to this person. You totally could be. You could be committed to them and you could be like, look, enough with the games, enough with the childlike behavior, enough, enough, enough. But I have to be honest, I feel like this is more about like, hey, I don't like how things are going. I don't like how things are so slow or not progressing or what have you. I don't like your in and out. I don't like your games. I don't like your childlike behavior. I don't like your maturity. I want something stable. I don't want instability. And again, I feel like this is you more, we're just putting them in a state of lacking confidence. I don't want that. I want adult situations. I want adult behavior. I really feel like some of you are, are actually telling this person off because you want a stable relationship and maybe they're not giving you that. Overall energy, we do have Five of Swords in reverse. Venus and Aquarian energy. Ooh! With the unknown card. Okay. Libra. I'm calling it like I see it. 
some of you, this is definitely a case of you might be dating this person, talking to this person, and they're not giving you that commitment. They're not giving you that stable, mature adult relationship that you want from a King of Swords energy, and you kind of lose it. You lose your patience. You tell them, you know what? You're, you're, you're gonna, we're going to have to be in a relationship or not. And you're going to shame them <laughs> into silence, but they hear you. Because Five of Swords in verse of the Unknown card, I feel like this person was not, again, they weren't aware of the consequences of their actions or the impact of their actions. They could have just been having fun, Libra, like flirting and just enjoying the casualness of it while you were looking for the seriousness. Libras like serious relationships. They want monogamy. They don't want to fuck around. <laughs> Libras don't like to fuck around. I already know I'm going to get comments. Oh, every Libra I've ever known has fucked around. Yeah, well, you know, other shit could be in their chart or they could just be a bad person. Anyway, <laughs> neither hand nor there. Five of Swords in Reverse is forgiveness forgiveness and acceptance here okay and putting the fight away like i said as quickly as it starts that's as quickly as it's going to pitter out it might take a day or two for this person to come around but they're basically going to be like oh my god i had no idea like i had no idea you felt quite like this to extent i had no idea that you were this bothered or that are growing this impatient with me about it like it definitely has that vibe of this person had no idea how aggravated you were by their behavior or actions or a lack of action again that page like behavior you were tired of it they had no idea in comes the fight because you lose your patience and you kind of lose your shit here libra i'm not gonna lie that's exactly how it's coming across and as quickly as that happens you berate this person and shame them they they go and think about it for a couple days and libra like i said they have a lot of respect for you they really do they have a lot of respect for you which is why i think they're so kind of taken aback and they're kind of upset about it too um but they hear you because you want something stable with them you want something strong, stable, and mature. All around the, the word mature here. I just heard put your money where your mouth is. Interesting. Okay. Leap. Queen of Swords in a verse just fell out. <laughs> Libra. Okay. All right. Let's go into the Three of Pentacles, and then we'll pull some Oracle cards here. I really feel like they're, this is them just taking the time out to think about shit. I really feel a lot of accusations here. Okay, so just be mindful, Libra. Just be mindful. Um, actually, yeah, we'll do spellcasters. So I have the Three of Pentacles. So I have the Three of Pentacles for Libra. So I have the Three of Pentacles for Libra. Regarding love, October 23rd to the 31st. Find the Three of Pentacles for Libra. Find the Three of Pentacles for Libra regarding love. October 23rd to the 31st. This fight seems like it needed to happen, Libra, because like I said, they've been so unaware that you've been this aggravated with their behavior. Um, and it, it's like, it's just like the little sobering wake-up call that they need. Find the Three of Pentacles. Because I really feel it coming together with this Three of Pentacles. So I have the Three of Pentacles for Libra regarding love, October 23rd to the 31st. So I have the Three of Pentacles. Ooh, strength in reverse, Leo energy. I, I, I like this, actually. I feel like this is basically two of you trying to not control the situation. Libra, I don't think this person was playing games with you. I, I think it might have come across like they were playing games with you, which again, it's like the unknown card, right? They didn't understand. They didn't realize how they were coming across to you. Um, but Libra, I think you trying to trying to not lose your shit might have been you trying to exercise control over the situation here a little bit. And you'll know who you are for that to resonate. But this is two people coming together to build something like very open. I'm getting open 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 very open with each other trying not not to put any just letting it happen naturally thank you that's what i'm trying to say where are my words letting it happen naturally not trying to force anything not trying to force anything oh queen of wands on the bottom what did i say libra you're the queen of swords king of wands they're a king of swords queen of wands definite complementary energies right there so i have the three of pentacles Time of the Three of Pentacles. Time of the Three of Pentacles. You did scare them, though. You, you totally did scare them. Let's see what we got here. Oh, beautiful. 
Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy with the Five of Wands, Leo energy, and Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. This is totally letting go of the fight. Totally letting go of the fight, coming together in a very open way, very open, very vulnerable. I, I love this. I love this, Libra. <laughs> you did scare them a little, but again, like I said, it seems like you kind of had to, to kind of get them to wake up. Um, but they take a couple days. I really feel like it's going to be like two to three days at most. It could be longer. Everyone's different. But after their couple days of thinking about it, maybe licking their wounds a little bit, they're going to want to come together with you. And it's going to be like, all right, that fight happened. Let's not ever go there again. I like that. So I have the Three of Pentacles. Ooh, Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. See, it also wants to come out here. Yeah, I feel like this is them taking that time out to think about it. <laughs> to, think, to think about what you had to say. Ten of the Three of Pentacles for Libra. Ten of the Three of Pentacles for Libra. Ten of the Three of Pentacles for Libra. Regarding love, October 23rd to the 31st. Overall energy, all oh, the beautiful. Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. Moon in reverse, Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. Total clarity, releasing of toxicity. Two of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, making decisions here to come together. I like it. Oh, I like it. Sometimes it takes a little fight. <laughs> to just lay it all out there, right? Just to lay it all out there. And like I said, Libra, you might have tried to tell this person. Some of you might not have, though. I got to be honest here, Libra. There, there are definitely a few of you out there that did not try to tell this person, and now you're just exploding. Don't let that happen. If you tried, I get it. But if you didn't try, try not to do that. <laughs> try not to explode on people. Okay. All right. Any advice for my Libras? Any advice for my Libras? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? 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 For some of you, sorry, I'm getting another download. Some of this could have been like a first fight situation if this is a new relationship for you, which is actually kind of cute. I'm sorry. I, I, I see this as cute. Oh, wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. 67, breaking down to a four. Stability here. Learn lessons from this. And this is also an energy of maturity. The wolf is the epitome of maturity and like a teaching energy. Libra, you're teaching this person a lesson. <laughs> okay. Um, and like I said, I don't think they were aware. I really don't think they were aware of the consequences of their actions. But I think that's the lesson here, to teach them to be aware of how they affect people, or at least how they affect you. Interesting. And Libras, some of you are learning to not explode. When something bothers you, say it. Just say it. Oh, swan spirit, time for a deep dive. 60 breaking down to a six here. This is about going deep within yourself, a hanged man energy. This is for the king of swords. This is for the person you're exploding on. I'm getting that, that hanged man Pisces energy with this. Um, whatever you say to them, Libra, like I said, it, it makes them kind of open their eyes a little bit. It makes them wake up a little bit here, okay? Um, they're going within themselves and being like, okay, maybe I need to not act that way. Or maybe I could, okay, I could see why... Libra would have thought this out of the other, right? You are teaching them, but Libra, like I said, you're learning too. It's a learning lesson for both of you. And if this is a newer relationship or a newer connection, you're just learning more about each other as well, okay? You're learning more about each other. Any other advice for Libras regarding this spread? Any? Oh, I like this. I like this spread. Okay, this is cute. This is cute. This is a cute fight. Any advice for my Libras? Regarding this spread. Okay, now we have sweet results await B spirit energy of seven. So seven is a energy of being on your path and listening to your guides and heading in the right direction where you're supposed to be. And this is an energy of abundance as well. This is going to pay off. Having this argument might feel really crappy at first. And even in those couple days where you're not talking while well, this king of swords is 
taking their deep dive within themselves and learning from whatever it is you're teaching them as you're learning as well from maybe not reacting in the best way or what have you just learning whatever you got to learn of the situation you both are going to benefit from this you're both taking away lessons but also it's bringing you guys together it's bringing you guys closer and it's allowing both of you to be more vulnerable with each other and that could have also been the issue yeah they're telling me yes for some of you that was also the issue why this person might not have been um more adult like or more direct that they keep saying direct why this person might not have been more direct with you they were too afraid to be vulnerable they were too afraid to be vulnerable and I was getting some issues of control for a couple of you, okay? Like I said, you already know who you are. There's blame on both sides here. There's blame on both sides. Um, but this argument comes out, this person takes their time, and they get it. They get it. They have to be more aware. They have to be more aware. And maybe they didn't realize that they were shutting themselves off to you, Libra. Maybe they didn't realize that. They might not have realized that. Overall energy. Oh, porcupine mind. That's perfect. Time for beginner mind. 48. That breaks down to a three. Communication. Where's the three of pentacles? Communication. Time for beginner mind is taking on something new. A new approach, a new perspective, a new endeavor. Something you haven't tried before. Both of you are coming back to the table with lessons learned. Like, let's not do that again. How do we prevent that from happening? Okay, let's build this up again in a new way. <laughs> let's not do that ever again. Okay. And both of you learned a lot more about each other and about yourselves. Oh, I like this. I really like this. I like this a lot. So Libra, don't go too crazy on this person. If you have, if you haven't tried to speak to them about this already, just try, just try. Don't explode. Just try. Um, for those who have tried, I get why you're kind of at this point. Um, but yeah, when they take their time out, cause they will, they will, they need to, um, don't don't get discouraged don't feel weird about it just let them take their time because they need to figure it out okay all right libras i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and bit shoot and i will see you guys later okay have a great night libras namaste